you soon. According to the CDC, more than 22,000 Nebraska women have breast cancer. Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Joe Harris is here to show us how thousands around Lincoln are working together to find a cure. That's right, Nicole. Cancer survivors and, support, and their supporters filled Holmes Lake Park today. It was, a, it was a display of activism, but also a chance for victims to connect and share their stories. Four thousand people turned out to Holmes Lake for the 17th annual Making Strides Breast Cancer Walk Sunday. The event promotes breast cancer awareness and raises funds for the American Cancer Society to advance cancer research. Communications Director Brian Ortner says the turnout every year amazes him. How quickly they show up and the energy and the spirit they bring with them. Um, it's a testament to the attitude of survivors. Meanwhile, Surgical Associates PC was holding their 10th annual Survivors Barbecue Celebration. Dr. Michael Norris says their clinic sees two to three cancer victims per week. Today is celebrating our survivors. Friendship, family, looking at not only our survivors, but those who aren't with us anymore. One of those survivors is Janelle Winberg. She was diagnosed with breast cancer in February. She says she went through 22 weeks of chemotherapy and just had what they hope is her final surgery this past Monday. Janelle says the Survivor's Barbecue is an amazing show of support and an opportunity to connect with others affected by the disease. The more I talk to people, the more somebody either knows somebody that has breast cancer or you know, their relative, a family member, a friend, um, it's more prominent than I think people realize. Winberg says having breast cancer at 44 is a testament to how young someone can have the disease. She says early detection is key, but a lot of people have told her they're too afraid to get a mammogram. She has something to say to those people. You need to do the mammogram because everything else afterwards, if you wait, it's it's no fun. Dr. Norris says he's happy to see how many survivors and other people come to socialize at the barbecue, but he also wishes they weren't there. I, I wish we weren't doing this. I wish we didn't have to do this. I wish there wasn't uh, a reason to be here. If breast cancer wasn't around, I think it'd make everybody happy. The walk was a big success. I'm told they raised more than $150,000 for, for the American Cancer Society. Well, great to see a great turnout and, of course, some incredible stories there, Joe. Thank you for the story.